warm welcome to Art House, I'm Melinda Akinlami. On today's episode, we'll be looking at the ICAF Lagos Art Fiesta and the Fashola Photography Competition, which took place in Lagos. But first, let's take a look at our Arty Quote this week, and I'll be right back with the details. Every artist must have a Mount Everest, which he plans to scale. The man dies in all who keep silent in the face of tyranny. Global peace and harmony, that's the theme for this year's International Culture and Art Fest. Let's show you the works of art which added color to this glamorous event. For four days, art lovers and creators were held spellbound by the best variety of art from across the African continent in the International Culture and Art Fest taking place in Lagos. Anytime you have exhibitions like this, I'm always very elated because um, as an art, arts enthusiast myself, um, it gives opportunity to see different kinds of work especially with the theme that um, this festival is taking from trash to treasure you will see the re-engineering that the artists have put into the works of things that ought to be trashed that they have transformed and that has become very treasurable i've seen the works of olushi i've seen the works of wadi I've seen quite a number of very, very impressionable works and I'm very elated and surely and definitely I'm picking some of the works. It was an opportunity to showcase collections, find out what artists are doing in networks and talk about how to make the art business in Africa step up and take its pride of place in the world. The idea is to expose the Nigerian art to the outside world so that at least the world will know, they can see the quality of the works that artists are showing out and at the same time be able to appreciate us the more. Though we are, we are, they are aware that we are doing something, but the awareness needs to be increased. You know, um, just like uh, someone said, that if we have, uh, if we, if we can play, put our artists over there, we will have more roles to play in the heart says all over the world. Because what we are pulling from that, uh, uh, from that uh, pool right now is so insignificant and we need to make more significant role. Two things, create awareness, that is for people to know more, to talk more, more about art. We hope that more people will do a lot of exhibitions so that art will circulate more. And then two, to also um, at least place the, the, the works out here for opportunity for people to be able to pick up something and buy art and patronize the artists. If we can continue, continue with this trend, if we have more people do more around art. If more, you understand, if artists can come together and do more shows like this, talk more about art, and then other people in other industries, other professionals, actually come into art, then I'm sure that very soon the industry will grow very, very huge. Maybe because when you have millions of people doing art, of course, the the turnover too will be very huge. The exhibition ran throughout the festival, featuring collages, painting, photography, sculpture, prints done by some of the big names and contemporary hands. Art is an evolving um, medium. The motion picture environment, for instance, did not get to where it is just like that. Over time, we learned how to commercialize art. 
and it became very important. Now, plastic art, and that's how I like to refer to things like sculpture, painting, works on canvas, and all of that, it's also growing. People are beginning to appreciate the works as they go by, and then, then people are spending money ensuring that they collect some of this form. So when you project in the next five, ten years, you will see a more active environment where more people will be aware of the kind of work that's going on. More people will probably be more empowered to, you know, to collect some of them and ensure you pay some of these artists so that they can continue to, you know, um, engage in the creation that they are talented in doing. And so um, the future is very bright. I'm very enthusiastic. I'm very positive that things will turn out better. But there's room for everyone to gain knowledge about the pieces being created and how they were done. When you look at the work, you see more of the African woman and you see some nice, beautiful African motif. Now, the idea for this motif is to bring it back to Africa, Nigeria. I'm sure you'll be able to relate to some of this African motif, like this lizard, you can see um, comb. All these are like um, elements that I used to design or to do this artwork. I got my inspiration from one of these um, local party I went for where I saw beautiful Nigerian ladies wearing headgear and uh, I found it really interesting. I got, I got the idea from there and I saw the materials they are wearing. It has some nice motifs on it. So this is acrylic on canvas with a textured background. What I actually use in achieving this texture is sawdust. So I had to prepare the canvas before you know, doing the, the painting.